Okay, so I was browsing salon.com this morning. <laughs> which as we all know is the bastion of truth, reason, logic, uh, fairness, all that sort of good shit. And I came across this article and I thought, well, that looks interesting. Let's do a video about it. It's called How Paranoid Schizophrenia Briefly Turned Me Into a Republican. <laughs> I had untreated paranoid schizophrenia. A media diet of cable news pushed me into a psychotic break. And we will go into this article right after this 30 second sponsor. If you've ever walked into a health food store or flipped on the TV, you've no doubt heard of the ketogenic diet or keto diet. It's one of the most popular diet trends in the world right now. Keto Elevate is specifically designed to help quickly and efficiently raise your ketone levels so you can reap a lot of the benefits of the keto diet lifestyle without all the restrictions. Visit ketowithbear.com and you can get a whopping 51% off your first shipment of Keto Elevate and free shipping in the US. Link in the description. The TV was talking to me. I was in the midst of a delusion that the news anchors on CNN were operatives of a shadow government run by the Clintons. Every time I crossed the living room of my father's dingy basement apartment, their heads followed me and the news anchors interrogated me about my role in the Russia investigation. I believed Russia investigation was really a code for a global conspiracy to enslave humanity through mind control. Yeah, well, that kind of uh, does reek of uh, paranoid schizophrenia, doesn't it? <laughs> President Donald Trump Trump and the Republicans were secretly working to overturn this shadow government and end the deep state programs. Targets of torture like me would be set free. Well, I mean, I think the Democrats were just really salty that Trump won. And they're dodgy f There's dodgy f everywhere, whether it be on the right or the left. But this thing was really dodgy, let's face it. But I don't think it was a global conspiracy. I think they were just salty. I turned the channel to Fox News. They repeated over and over that Hillary Clinton was a criminal. Well, I mean, I think she is a, a a criminal. She just hasn't been presented with charges. Even though I was a Democrat and had voted for Bill Clinton twice, I mailed in the form to join the Republican Party. Then I faxed evidence to the Russian consulate. <laughs> Who uses f***ing fax machines? You've seriously got a fax machine? And sent a letter to the CIA offering to cooperate with the investigation. What do you mean cooperate? What, have you got some secret insider knowledge? This actually does reek of paranoid schizophrenia. What I didn't know was that I was in the advanced stages of untreated paranoid schizophrenia. I was experiencing a psychotic break from reality. Yeah, it sounds like it. You're writing letters to the CIA, you're faxing the f***ing Russian consulate. Good God, you should have sought help a long time ago. It all seemed so real. When I was eventually treated, my psychiatrist explained to me, with paranoid schizophrenia, it's just like the born identity. There are people for you, people against you, and somebody always has to be the villain. I know what you're thinking. Thank God they have medication for these people. Hallelujah! Yes. Thank and God they do. Now I wonder, is the average American so different from me? Well, yeah, I think so. I mean, it seems to me, the guy who's never even been to America, that Americans are very, very politically involved and they sort of pick a side and then they've sort of got to strongly dislike or hate the other side. But it's one of those things, you know, like you're going to hear the loudest voices and the loudest voices are going to be the ones that are most adversarial. Are we all susceptible to paranoid thoughts, conspiratorial thinking and bias? When in executive function in the frontal lobes and our ability to reason are disabled by fear? Well, yeah, he kind of makes a point here. I mean, if the left and the right are so highly polarised, then it's obviously going to create bias and conspiratorial thinking in those most affected, obviously. Terrified by a global pandemic, there are people who believe Bill Gates is an evil mastermind who engineered the coronavirus with plans to depopulate and microchip the world's population while profiting in the process. Anti-vaxxers refuse to to take the vaccine they think will alter the structure of the human DNA. Our brains seek to impose order. Conspiracy theories can provide answers to people who feel overwhelmed, but ideally the frontal lobe should step in and challenge strange thoughts by asking the question, is what I am perceiving based in reality? Policy divides are now often framed as a battle between good and evil. The most obvious consequence of overheated partisan rhetoric is that someone with an untreated psychiatric illness can go on to commit an act of violence against a person 
person or group that they believe is a perpetrator of their suffering. This is rare. More common is the normal person who goes down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole and finds a world that makes sense to them. So this Paddy Mulcahy bullshits on for a bit and then he says, Television is a powerful medium. CNN and Fox repeat the same headlines, the same phrases over and over in the same news day. Back then these read to my unhinged mind as coded speech to the unsuspecting public. It's more akin to propaganda. When I was psychotic I thought a shadow government had a ministry of propaganda. I worry about living in a country where the two major political parties are always at war, unable to get anything done, and the public is fed a delusional world by networks and social media companies competing for viewers. Well, I think there was a ring of truth in the last bit. I mean, the bit how the public is fed a delusional world by networks and social media companies competing for viewers. I mean, I think there's some truth to that. People with paranoid schizophrenia see patterns that don't actually exist, just like conspiracy theorists. They're constantly scanning the news for pieces of information to connect the dots about unseen forces controlling events. Both groups believe they're being persecuted by others. I had grandiose beliefs that I was at the centre of every news story on TV. My mind was looking to cast a villain to account for the symptoms of a brain disease. Yeah, you just had a mental illness, man. And they make you think f***ed up things. <laughs> I think the title of this article is Absolute f clickbait. Like it sort of says you'd have to be a paranoid schizophrenic to be a Republican, which just isn't true. But anyway, he goes on. Dr. Anthony Fauci has complained about the extraordinary divisiveness surrounding the public health crisis created by the pandemic. Oh, I f hate Dr. Fauci, but I swear to God, I swear I don't have schizophrenia. I mean, I can not like Dr. Anthony Fauci and not have schizophrenia at the same time, right? Is that is that possible, salon.com? The current battle is over masks and vaccines. Fox News paints the Democratic Party as a threat to democracy that has invented domestic enemies such as the unvaccinated to desperately cling to power. News anchors across CNN repeat the phrase viral blizzard to warn the public and scare the unvaccinated about the new variant. Yeah, amen, I agree with that. I mean, Fox News does go pretty hard on the Democratic Party, and, you know, so they f should the Democratic Party. C but CNN does like do this severe fear-mongering about the pandemic, like to an OTT degree. Fear-mongering is psychologically destabilizing to the most normal person, but this media environment can be toxic to someone with an untreated psychiatric illness. Yeah, fair enough, I bet it can. I wish politicians and their media allies would stop contributing to the collective unraveling of the American mind. Yeah, see, I don't actually think this article was that unreasonable in the end. It's got a really, really clickbaity headline, but that's because it's on sale Salon.com. And as we know, Salon.com are the voice of reason. Anyway, what do you think? I've been bearing. F you, f off. I'll see you next time. Bye!